often when I upload a video on the benefits of nuts. There tend to be several comments made on the fact that many nuts and seeds are high in omega-6. The main concern with omega-6 fats is that our body can convert the most common one, linoleic acid, into another fatty acid called arachidonic acid. An arachidonic acid is a building block for molecules that can promote inflammation, blood clotting and the constriction of blood vessels. However, our body also converts arachidonic acid into molecules that can calm inflammation and fight blood clots. The consensus seems to be that we should be aiming for a ratio of omega-6s to omega-3 of anywhere from 9 to 1 to 4 to 1 or even below that is likely close to optimal. While researching for this video, I did come across this fascinating research that found that there were cardiovascular benefits of eating omega-6 fats. Quote, omega-6 fats are not only safe, but they are also beneficial for the heart and circulation. The researchers concluded that the body converts very little linoleic acid into arachidonic acid, even when linoleic acid is abundant in the diet, and that eating more omega-6 fats didn't rev up inflammation. Instead, they found eating more omega-6 fats either reduced markers of inflammation or left them unchanged. Now, this research may be the exception to the rule, as Dr. Brooke Goldner, who works extensively with patients with lupus and other autoimmune diseases, has found that increasing omega-3 intake and reducing omega-6, amongst many other diet and lifestyle changes, has a profound effect on these disease outcomes. So let's hear what she had to say. I explained how the different omega-6 and omega-3 pathways work for recovery. So one of the areas that I really specialize is understanding how food affects your immune system. So if you have an inflammatory immune system, which is necessary, we need inflammatory immune system. When we get an infection, when we get an injury, it's our inflammatory immune system that fixes it. The anti-inflammatory immune system returns you to baseline. The anti-inflammatory immune system needs omega-3 fatty acids to be created. And so most people are very starved of it. And it's why people get chronic inflammation is they can't clear it. Omega-6s, which come from meat and dairy and oil, but also in nuts and seeds and other things, that creates your inflammatory immune system. So for most people, they can create inflammation all day long like a boss, but they have no ability to return to baseline. There's so little omega-3 in their system compared to the omega-6. So what you're looking for is a balance. Right now, theoretically, the balance you want is somewhere around nine to one to one to one, or when you're healthy, right? I had somebody who actually tested this recently and her level was 200 to one. So if you are trying to quickly increase your omega-3s compared to your omega-6s, the best thing you can do is take out other nuts and seeds because those are plant sources of omega-6 and just increase flax seeds, chia seeds, cold pressed flax oil, things like that to get the omega-3 level up, right? But in general, most nuts and seeds have a ratio of six to three that's somewhere around nine to one. So when you're healthy, you don't have to think about that at all. Like I've been lupus free 16 years. I just turned 45 last week, like I'm doing great. If I wanna make a cashew cheese sauce, I don't think twice about it, you know, it's fine. But when you are trying to accelerate the repair of your super high omega-3 deficiency, then temporarily that could help. It's cutting back on those nuts and seeds. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.